Yo, what's up, YouTube? Beer Pressure episode number 70. And today, what we got for you guys is the Keystone Light. You know, we're keeping it simple today for this review, so let's take a look at it real quick. Any special description here? Eh, not really, but just to. Maybe it's worth mentioning that it's got this, like, uh, these groovement you know these grooves on the top of the can for it to flow smoother so that's one thing about it all right looking at the alcohol by volume seeing if they have it doesn't look like it yeah all right your general color spilling a little bit too general beer color light now just going off a of price on this right here I'm not really expecting too much from this here but and the price by the way was about six dollars and eighty to ninety cents Actually, I kind of want to take back what I just said. I'm, I don't want to say I'm not expecting much, but I kind of have a general expectation of what this is. Uh, I like that better. All right. And I think it's safe to say that this type of beer falls in the cores or the Bud, Bud, Budweiser's, the Bud Lights. Bud White, shout out to Budweiser. Check our episode we did outside too. Yeah, we figured we uh, switch it up a little bit. You know. All right, let's get into All this. Right, so cheers. Cheers. Hmm. So. This is a very easy beer to get into. Carbonation on it is pretty good. Not too much of a uh, prominent flavor in it. It's kind of lacking in that department, but what I really like about it is how smooth it is. It's pretty easy to drink. Um, in my opinion, you don't really need flavor for a beer like this. You get what you, uh, you know what you're getting. Some would say that it's watered down. I think I could agree on that, but at the same time, for some weird reason, this actually tastes kind of good. And yeah. I, and I like that. It's pretty good. It's, it's, and, it's uh, nice for a warm day, it's, uh, eating pizza or whatever. Yeah, it's just uh, pretty crisp, kind of refreshing. That's a good thing. Uh, levels. So... Obviously, it kind of goes without saying that, um, based on the price point and the other beers that kind of taste like it or kind of it's in its level, this is going to easily be a beginner beer. I mean, without a, without a question. Um, now, that you know, also note that even though it's easy to drink. It's not really what I think a beer should taste like. It's kind of like it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain that, but trust me, this isn't what a real beer, in my opinion, is. <laughs> Sorry for that. This is not what I think a real beer should taste like, but it's still very beginner level, only because of how easy it is to drink. Pretty easy stuff, so. Now that's gonna lead us that's gonna lead us down to the situations. Now this also goes without saying, come on. What are you gonna what could you expect to do with this? Probably go to a party, hang out with some friends. If you're tight on money, go out and get this. Eat Maybe some pizza. If, yeah, you know. 
have some friends over, mm -hmm. you know, play some poker. Yeah, you being a you being whatever. you being a host. You know, you have a few guests over. You don't want to spend a lot of money, so you go out. You know, get yourself some of this stuff. So, yeah, that's Can't go wrong with it. That's basically what this is used for. You know, just an everyday kind of daily driver, drinker kind of thing. Nothing special. No, so. I think we're gonna wrap it up right now because, uh, you know, we're outside. It's about ninety degrees outside. Yeah, it's really <laughs> hot out here where where we live. It's almost like nineties right now. So. And we're in the shade, we, too. We, yeah, we wanted to give you guys something different, but, yeah, it's really hot out here. So, anyways, we're going to get we're gonna get down to the final verdict of this. I'm going to give it a 7. It's a simple 7. Nothing, uh, nothing really too much to talk about. Pretty much described it throughout this review, so. Basic 7. I think we, uh, I'm going to give it a 7, seven and a half, high 7. Uh, you get what you pay for, but it's not a bad thing. You know, you can find this anywhere. Keystone Light, you've probably seen a commercial on it. Uh, and we thought we should get this, share it with you guys. Okay, so that's. So pour one out for the end of the video. That's going to conclude our episode, number 70. On. Stay tuned in for the next episode. Once again, we want to thank you guys for the recommendations. Thanks for uh, putting on us. I mean, subscribing and all that cool stuff watching our stuff you know i mean it keeps keeps the channel going and we'll see you so, next time peace peace cheers